Let's go to our wild card line. You are on the air. Where are you calling from? I am not calling from deep below the center of the earth. And, Mr. Nori, it is time to pay the fiddler. You have been claiming that I have been ducking you, and this is as your greatest fears have been confirmed. James oh, D. West, no. The God's general in the war on media pornography. And now I have you too, buggy now me. Now you must face me. And I'm going to tell you something. That I have not been hey, 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 no hey, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, you, I you got to talk. You. Talk like a human being, don't I you? I am a human being. Don't you insultate me. I am more the, human than you. You think so? I definitely know so. You who are perfectly possessed by Art Bell's demonetry. Art yeah, Bell to me. is not demonic, my friend. Well, then you are totally deluded, you are completely convoluted, and you are a criminal. And you, you, yeah, you're right, it wasn't $20 that you stole, it was $50, and that was a test, just to see if you would get it wrong or right, and you got it wrong, buddy. Now listen, your pockmarked, pimple, punk, whippersnapper, call screener, insulted me, I want you to put him on the air. Uh, I'll take well, hold care on. of him. Hold, hold, hold. Are you saying that I took money from Mark Bell? You stole money from Mark Bell's wallet. Not the first time when you and him are sitting around drinking moonshine together at your compound. You stole. Hey, hold, you, you oh, 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 I don't live where Art Bell lives. Don't you lie. You live well. You say you're deep below the center of the earth. How deep below are you? Now listen to me. You're Eight lying feet. because you Eight are feet. a compulsive kleptomaniac, a criminal mastermind. Eight feet. I may be a mastermind, but I'm not a kleptomaniac. Yes, you are. What did you call here for? I called here to make sure to tell everyone, because we've been monitoring your little online chats and how you are claiming that I am ducking you, and I am not afraid of you, and I'm not afraid of your foul mouth friend, Oscar. I'll face him on the air in a debate any day, and I'm here to call you to the carpet as the second most dangerous man in America, you media pornographer, you who, who are insulting me in the new revelation, and, and your foul mouth pimple face punk that just insulted me beyond all measure. Are you the same J.C. who deals with this person named Edna Pringle? Edna Pringle is a disciple of mine who has been... She is going through a very difficult trial of the spirit right now. Well, I would, I would, I would, you I would think so. Have you, read, her. have you read some of her emails and the language she uses I when she sends us emails? Her, uh, listen, I don't, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't touch the computer. She does what I tell her to write. Sometimes she goes off and does things on her own, which is like a, like a willful woman do. Women who don't really know their place. Sometimes even those who know have been shown their place will go and do willful things. If you don't, if you're, this is why I tell men you must take command of the will of your woman. If you don't command the will of your woman, you're going to get run down. Just like Adam did. JC, you are in so far off. It's in I am not far off. Don't you tell me how far off I am. You, you who are a criminal kleptomaniac. And and you were peeping in Edna's wet bathroom window the other night with Art Bell <laughs> on my compound. We have pictures of it. Pictures. Oh, you do. Yes, I do. I, I would love to see you those. Peeping in on an 83-year-old woman. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you? And you did steal from Art Bell, and no, you I got eyes for Mona too. No, I've I've never Why seen Art tell? Bell when he Art had Bell. money in his wallet ever. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. You're a criminal. Why didn't Jason. you ever tell the audience about your criminal past, Mr. Nori? And, and what might that be? Your criminal underworld dealings in St. Louis, which is why you were chosen to be the pickpocket enforcer thug, because when Mike Siegel ran the show into the ground, uh, 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 and you know what? Art it, Bell it, went to the it, devil and begged hey, Mike Bell, it for ends. someone to save it. Wait, can I tell you Bell something? Is a hey, gruff. hey, hey, don't ever, ever use the name of anybody in a negative way on this show again. Mike Siegel happens to be one of the greatest talk show hosts in the country, who is one of the best when it has to do with hard news. This is a different kind of a show, and you, J.C., should be ashamed of yourself and maybe deeply 